Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with a quick and easy recipe for s'mores cookie bars. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Let me show you what you're going to need. You're gonna need some milk chocolate bars, some unsalted butter, graham cracker crumbs, and egg, vanilla, baking powder and salt, and I am using Himalayan pink sea salt, marshmallow cream, sugar, and flour. So if you wanna see how this quick and easy recipe comes together, stay tuned. All right, so I've got my butter in the bowl and I'm going to add my sugar and I'm gonna cream this together. Gonna add my vanilla and my egg. Next, I'm going to add in my flour. And my graham cracker crumbs. And then the last thing that I'm going to add in once I combine my graham cracker crumbs is my baking powder and salt. All right, so I've got everything all combined in the bowl. And next, I'm just going to reserve about a cup of this dough for the topping. And that's about a cup right there. So I'm gonna go grab my pan and show you what comes next. Okay, so I have a nine by nine pan here and I have lined it with nonstick foil. This is what I'm using right here. You can also use parchment paper or if you don't have either one, you're going to want to heavily, heavily, heavily grease the pan so that nothing sticks. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take that dough not the reserved one cup, but I'm gonna take the rest of that dough, put it in the bottom of this pan and press it out. All right, so I've got my crust all pressed out. And so now I'm just going to take my chocolate bars and then just lay them right on top, just like that. And just for point of reference, this Hershey bar is an extra large size. Now, of course, you can buy some that are smaller, but you'll just have to make sure, of course, you have enough to fit the pan. But I'm using two extra large Hershey bars. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna do is to take your marshmallow cream and just dollop it over the chocolate bar. And this might be the most tedious and time-consuming part of this is because the marshmallow cream is so sticky. All right, so I spread out my marshmallow cream, and like I said, that's the most time intensive part of this whole recipe. Now I'm taking the reserved topping and I'm just crumbling it over the top and just dropping it randomly in different places. All right, so I've got everything all crumbled on top. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake these for a half for half an hour or until they are done all the way through. And then once you pull these out of the oven, you're gonna have to let these cool in the pan for about half an hour. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. All right guys, so I ended up baking these for 35 minutes. I wanted to make sure that it was completely done and they are, and then I ended up cooling them for about half an hour. Now, if you want a ooey, gooey, um, you know, bar, then you'll go ahead and um, cut them up and serve them immediately, but I did let mine cool. So Howard, my husband, is going to show you guys what the bottom of the bars look like. As you can see, they're nice and chewy, nice and golden brown, completely done. He's gonna break open one for you guys. Here it is, and it is so good, so delicious. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Just make sure you hit that bell notification. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.